After a 10-year mission, all is now up to gravity. The Rosetta probe's done its part, successfully sending its Philae landing craft towards the comet's surface after a 6 billion kilometer journey. The vast distance to Earth makes it impossible to send instructions in real time. Now scientists can do nothing but sit back and watch as Philae attempts to latch itself onto the icy comet as it hurtles through space. Challenge. The challenge is for the vessel to maintain its upright position in relation to the surface it's landing on. That it lands on a surface where there isn't too much of a gradient. When it touches down, the gripping system needs to work properly. The feet will have to fold out properly too. We weren't able to test them for 10 years. The Rosetta probe is set to scan the comet's surface until February 2015, accompanying the icy mass as it speeds towards the sun. The goal is to collect data that scientists hope will shed light on the building blocks of the universe and perhaps even the source of life on Earth. It's the fruit of a two-decade process. It takes 20 years to do that, uh, 20, 10 years to, to build the spacecraft, to build Philae, and all the instruments. We have 21 instruments on both spacecraft and 10 years for the crews. We are very, very anxious because the landing is the most critical phase of the mission. Uh, we know the surface is not so flat, so uh, there is a 20% uh, chance of, of a failure. The European Space Agency says that even if Philae's landing fails, the 1.3 billion euro mission won't be wasted. They say Rosetta will be able to perform 80% of the mission solo.